prop. We got to do something about this guy. This is an important issue. Otherwise, I wouldn't have called this meeting. You call meetings when you got to go to the bathroom. You wouldn't have called this meeting. You have a hard out for Joey for years. Why, I don't know. Why are we going to take a chance? Why take a chance? He's going to write about Pop. He's going to write about me. He's going to write about all the other people that don't want to be written about. He would never hurt Alfonso. Huh? You know him, Alfonso. He'd never hurt you. He'd never do anything to hurt you. Or the family. Why do you want to hurt this guy? The guy never did nothing for you. He takes care of business. Pop, I only want what's best for you, Uncle John, and myself, and our family. And I'm not going to let some fucking chooch like Joey G bring this down just because he wants to write a book about what, it. What did you ever money? do for the family? Except spend money and walk around like a dunsky. What did you ever do? I got, I got about 15 crews, going to be 16 crews next month, busting their cayunes, pulling in money for this family. That's what I've been doing. Okay? Well, that's what what have you been doing? doing? That's not Oh, no, you know what? I see you down in Vegas. I see you over I'm in your Atlantic uncle. City. Talk to hey. me with respect, or you're going to wind up getting whacked. You know what? Have a Pop, I apologize. I got to go in the bedroom and make a phone call. Good John. I apologize to you, too. Alphonse, you're my brother, and I love you. I know he's your son, but I don't trust the son of a bitch. He's just too greedy. It's going to tear down everything you built. That's not that good, Jesus. Let's, uh, let's get rid of Joey. I'll take care of him. <laughs> Depends on you. But Don, so watch your head for a million, man. If we turn them, turn your head over for a million, that's nothing. Joe, we always heard good things about you. All we want to do is help you. Personally, we don't give a shit whether you write the book or not. The little prick Don, or Lukaku, whatever you want to call him, is taking over the family's business, that little prick. We don't want to do business with them. We don't owe them nothing. We will ask for a favor. That's how family does business. What do you want? Appreciation. Who is going to show us this appreciation? You come up with a million dollars plus one dollar. Yeah, it's like you outbid them. Everything I have, I need. I need to take care of my wife. How are you going to take care of your sick wife if you're fucking dead? <laughs> I whack them all or I disappear. Either way, I'll never see my money. In the old days, this is fucking low lives. Those fucking idiot criminals are taking over everything. Everything I had, everything. I gotta disappear. How am I gonna do it? What are you doing? You're supposed to be dead. I'm getting close. I'm getting real close. Why'd you divorce my sister? Why did you divorce your sister? Yeah. That's between me and your sister. She took care of you. Until you started fucking around. She took care of me. Yeah, you started fucking around with strippers. The house, she's got. Yeah. 
the cars she's got the bank accounts she's got the kids don't even talk to me I took care of your sister and I got it stuck up my ass Something, got a headache. Just well, get something small, get something light. You're always a good eater. Spinach and orange wedges. Who? Spinach and orange wedges. So you don't What's eat continental like I do, you know what no. I mean? No, well, you know you're, you're, you're a fucking big shot. You come to me, I give you whatever you needed years ago. Now I come to you and you tell me that my sister brought you to the parking cleaners. What did you ever give me? What? What did you ever give me? What did I ever give you? You forget yeah, what, what you happened in Brooklyn? Me? Huh? What? When I went to Avenue? You? The me, building? Let me say it again. So you got me a job. What's the big deal? A job? Yeah, you got me a job. You got money in your pocket over it. I took care of you. You ended up owning the fucking building. Too. I took care of you. <coughs> All right, we're going to go. That's enough. That's enough. Sure, let me get it. Here, here, come here, come here, come here. Bring me the salad with the wedges, right? Okay. That's so I'm going to have the vegetarian. Which plate. wedges? An orange wedges. Okay. Orange vegetarian wedges. plate. Sure. Jesus Christ, I haven't seen it in a million years, and what are we doing? We're arguing. Not right. Look. It's not right. I'm sorry about your brother's yeah. death. I didn't know about it until recently. I'm sorry, Jim. Okay? I'm looking for help. I'm looking for money. You're looking for money? Yeah. Well, when am I going to get money? 900. Large. That's a lot of money. That was the time. That was the time. Well, it's a lot of money now. Go to my nephew? I can't go to my nephew. Because of you, I can't go to my nephew. How old is he now? Uh, 40, 42. You know, the business over there isn't what it used to be. It's not like when my brother ran. Thank you. How's the food here? It's all right. Well, you got a lot of people nervous. When people get nervous, people die. Hi. Is this for you? Veggie platter? This plate is so hot. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. No, I also need to get a minute. I need a pencil and a piece of paper. A pencil, a piece of paper? Yeah. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. You take care of yourself. I intend to. I will. I just got things to do. Piece of paper? Yeah, I don't put out a piece of paper. Ooh. Me? How could you do this to a guy you don't know your life? What did I ever well, do to you aside from being some disrespect? Not what you did to me. I had a special relationship with my brother. As you know, my brother never talked on the phone. My brother never went no place. I did it all. And when he came to me and he told me about your books, Mr. Scholar, about your books, I tried to talk him out of it. But he wouldn't hear of it. He knew you were going to say things that you shouldn't have said and put a lot of people away. I never did that. Listen, and put a lot of people away. So, put the order out for you to go to sleep. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's not his fault. It's your fault. You were never happy with the family. You were never happy. You wanted to be a writer, you wanted to be this, you wanted to be that. An author. People from Brooklyn don't become authors. They become wise guys. It's already decided. I kill him.
tell that prick Anthony and the family to take their one mill and shove it up their ass. Joey G has always done right by people. Always. Does right by people. Always. You caught writing a book on a family he and I come from, doing right by people? The old man put the whack on him before he died. His brother told Anthony to get me to do it. Anthony will fuck up a glass of water, all right? What does he do? He turns around, he sends his cousin Patsy to go whack him. Why, by God, I don't know. I let it happen, all right? Job I should have taken care of, we wouldn't be having this fucking discussion. You send blood to draw blood, you're drawing trouble. I, I, listen, I don't care what you do. I, can't, I didn't come down here for this. I came down here to build a casino. You do what's best for you. I don't think he's gonna write a book on the family. And I don't think you should get involved in this wacko. He's a low-life fucking traitor. And the whack put on him by Don Alfonso is the only way to fucking deal with it. My wife's all there is to live for and to care about. I can't bail on her again. She's the only one who's ever really been there for me. Through it all. CD systems here? Mm -hmm. There's a CD system, there's DJs, there's usually DJs that show up tonight. There's usually DJs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Any like good jazz? Stuff. Any good jazz? This is kind of like, well, this isn't really jazz, but sort of acid jazz. You don't, like it. You don't like it? Why not? I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling no, you. I know. I don't pick the CDs. They're like, people go on the bar, pick the music. If I could play my music, I'd be spinning. You know, What's your music? Something. Um, I like all sorts of different kind of stuff. More contemporary, more modern. You like jazz? I like jazz. Yeah. I'm not a big, I don't know a lot about it. I like it like Coltrane, Charles Wingers, that kind of stuff. I'd like to get into it a little more. Are you a musician? I'm a musician, yeah. Where are you playing? I play guitar. Really? <laughs> what guitar player do you listen to? Just straight guitar players? Yeah. Well, Hendrix, Millicent Hendrix, Jimmy Page. Well, you were talking about jazz guitar. Bob Dylan, he's not really a great guitar player, but he's a great songwriter. Jazz players, um, who, who are some of the good jazz guitar players? Most of them were like horn players, right? That's right. I mean, there were some great jazz guitar players. Yeah. You're, you're a musician? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you are. I was a jazz player. What instrument? Trumpet. Trumpet. It's a hard instrument. Yeah. Oh, hard. You still play? Yeah. A little. Yeah? A little. 
Where are you from out here or back east? No, no. Around. Around? Yeah. Chicago? Around. Around? I mean, all over the place. You travel? Yeah. Where are you from? You want to tell me? Why do you have to know? I'm curious. You can tell a lot about a person from where they're from. Where are you from? All over the place. Are we from the same place? CDs, movies, go to malls, you know, we have a consumer culture, but to sell a book takes such focus in, in marketing, besides the fact that who knows whether you'll write something great, it needs like about 110%, and I got things pulling on me, Joey. There's a lot of things. I'm broke. I have nothing. I'm not even sure I could buy a computer or even a typewriter. There might be a guy out here that looks like Leon Trotsky looking to sell a typewriter. I can't buy it. Okay? I have my hat, literally, in my hand. I would never say that to anybody. No, I, you know, I appreciate what you're saying, and I appreciate your condition. See, the deal is with me, Joey. I've been working as a publisher and editor and all kinds of things for all these years. And I'm now close to about completing that. I've developed the fine art of hanging out. I have a wonderful lifestyle. And it's really cool and I like it. And for me, again, to get involved in something, you know, that's not just an editorial book or a textbook, something of this nature, whew, I have to really salivate. It has to really, yeah, you know what I mean? My life is over. Ma io la carogna che devo cammangare a rivo la vecchia, eh? Ho capito, ma non mi parla siciliano perché io non capisco bene siciliano. Che siciliano è? Che sogno siciliano? Eh, lo so. Tu sei italiano. I don't read anybody out, never have. Ma why people say that? I don't know. I don't know. And this is why I need you, I need your help. Day. So when you're desperado, I feel like they're closing in on me. I have never been this nervous and stressed out about what I do in my life. I want you to get me and my wife out of this country. I'm going to leave it forever. I want to go back to Italia. You can do this for me. Get all the necessary paperwork, pictures, visas, passports, divorce, different names. I'm thinking. You want to go to Italy? Yeah. I have to look for the good place for you, Italy. Mm -hmm. Italia uh, is not good now. Not now. Why? The political situation, uh, you know, it's changing and they are changing stuff and it's very more controlled. Now, I think in six months I will have the time to find a good place for you. Beautiful. But listen to me, Luciano. Nobody, nobody must know this but you, me, and my wife. Uh, I think you have to tell you that. You of course. A cosa nostra, nanny. Ma tu non te lo dico. Non te lo dico. Um, yeah, La Perugia, dear. I trust you. I always have. I've known you since you were a young man. I trust you. You do the right thing with me. Listen, I'm telling you, don't worry. Now, um, to do all these this, this things, yeah. you need some money. Quando? How much? I know a lot of people, but that needs to be paid. That's good. Hey, it's not for me, eh? Who's that? So don't worry about it. Even if it was for you, don't worry about it. No, 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 it's don't not for me. Don't worry about that. You understand? 
I don't have a lot of money. I'm going to have to go to some people to get this money that you ask. Solomon, it says you might have two in nonfiction. Did you look at nonfiction? Which uh, I'm sure you will find it for you. Did you say, did you say bag or no bag? Uh, I don't know. It's Joey, right? No. I think I met you. I uh, met you in a bar about uh, maybe about a year ago. I don't know you. Joe, so, yeah, we, we're talking movie, character actors. I think we were talking character actors in a bar in Hollywood. We talked about, I think, Strother Martin and stuff like that. We talked about movies. I know you like movies. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, sure, okay. I'm Scott. It's twenty nine ninety five, but I can give you a discount. Scott? Yeah, I'm Scott, yeah. There's something like Scott. Yeah. You don't know me. No, I don't know you. I mean, I, know you. I just know you as Joey, but that's all I know. I don't know you. You don't know me. You are my, my uncle. We are in me. Graziana, they will see you. I'm sorry to Say, 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 I don't understand very well because you speak uh, Sicilian. But what you doing here? Well, hey, nice meeting you. Piacere. Eh, piacere. E la ba ba ba. La ba 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 ba. You came in the wrong time. You speak. I'm English. speaking English. I'm speaking English. Hey. <laughs> How, how are you? And it's nice to see you. Nice to see Finally. you. Finally. It's polite, yeah. It's polite. It's uh, I'm here because... Uh, how did you find me? I got the address from uh, a friend. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you know, maybe you don't know the situation, but I need help because... My wife, Sophie, is... My in, aunt, uh, is yeah. Your aunt, yeah. She's in need of an operation. I know, I know. And your mother in Italy wants to help her. And you're here. I know you're helping your mother. You send money there. No, I know, I know, I know, guys. I, but I, I said yes, and everything was set up, and then uh, everything went disappeared. I didn't hear from what, you guys. What do you mean everything was set up? Your friend came to Italy and explained all the situation. Yeah, but that, that, uh, And then he called and he said, it's, uh, it, it's yeah. not going to happen anymore. Well, I want it to happen. And here's, what I, here's what I need for you to do. I tell you, say, man, he goes in the bully. He, 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 he,